morning, guys. Thanks for watching Guggen Pro Offshore Angler. I'm your host, G2P Angler. With me, JJ. What's up? Uh, it is March 24th. It's uh, you can see we're wearing sweaters. A little bit chilly out here for South Florida standards, low 60s, and um, we're coming out chasing Wahoo this morning. So. Uh, what's going on is it is one day in front of the full moon, so we have a full uh, six-line wahoo spread, which we recorded at like 5 a.m. this morning coming out, so I'll, I'll cut that for, for you to say to see what's in the spread. It's already deployed. We already had one bite off in 160 feet. We're out here off of Boca now at about 300 feet, and um, what we have going for us today is one day in front of the full moon, and we'll get, um, it's been two days of bad conditions here. It's been stormy, so uh, no one's been out. We have no real fishing report. But we're hoping that we're getting some early springtime conditions. Maybe some mahi showing up, some blackfin tuna. But we're focused on Wahoo for the first like two hours of uh, of today. And uh, we got an outgoing tide, probably around like 9:30, and we got to be in by like what one, something like that. Yeah. So we're it's gonna be just a quick quick morning. Plus we're in a small cut advisory, so we're gonna have a deteriorating conditions out here. But we're gonna get out, give it hell, see what we get into this morning. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is going to be a six line spread targeting Wahoo in front of the full moon. On one outrigger, tightened up very tight, is going to be a Mad Mac. This is a 200. On the further out, number four planer, it's going to be a pink and white sea witch with a bonita strip. That's going to go out on a 30 second count. On the shotgun is a Boon Bird with uh, two feather teasers. This rig was made by my friend Rich. He's calling it the, uh, the G2P Angler Skunk Buster. Um, going out just behind the shotgun is going to be a um, DTX Minnow, this is DTX 140. I like these smaller ones because they have treble hooks. Going out on the uh, shortest is going to be number 8 planer, the blue and white Sea Witch. And then we got one feather on the other outrig, trying to pick up some black fin tuna out there. All right, we're in 256 feet of water outside of Boca. I think it might be a mahi jumping around like it is, maybe even two of them. See two splashes back there. It's been a very, it's been a very slow day and the uh, shotgun got hit. So, so far we've only been, um, we've had two bite offs, the one little like bonita that got off. Like it's been a very, very slow day for us so far. It's um, right around noon now, we're heading back in and the, the boom bird with a couple of pink and white feathers. At least got something for us. We're hoping we can start to see some kind of uh, spring activity picking up out here. So hopefully those mahi is starting to come in. Yep. That was like, it looks like one, one single mahi on the yeah. very last line there. Yep. It would take the entire spread over and he picked up the very last hook on the shotgun way back. Wait. Try to bring him right your way there. Get the colors on him. Trying to throw that hook. morning of fishing. Um, I will say our, our best laid plans to go out and nail a wahoo this morning uh, did not happen. So the quick recap here is focused on wahoo for the first couple of hours of our morning troll and we had two bite offs and that was it. Like, it was a really slow day and I've got like the biggest hooks in the market for wahoo fishing so I'm not sure how to avoid that bite off anymore but it was tough to go over two on those on those bite offs. So. I'll look, it seems like a longer shank option, but that was that was, that was was tough. Um, we did catch one mahi on the Boon Bird, the uh, Williamson feather hanging off of that, so that was great. And right after we caught it, some Yahoo and a blue and white pro line ran it over, so we lost the Boon Bird in the rig. So yeah, thanks so much for making that rig for me, and now it's already gone, but at least it saved the day with, uh, with uh, one fish. So we'll go home, cook those up, 
Um, I think overall for lessons learned, I mean, like we came out hoping for some spring fishing. Check your lines often. You might have seaweed on them and not even realize it. Yeah, solid, solid point. We went maybe an hour and a half of trolling and pulled lines in, and like four of six lines were fouled. So JJ makes a good point. We should have been checking lines a little more often. There is more seaweed showing up now. Um, hopefully, as uh, the next week and the week to get into April, the uh, spring fishing picks up with more uh, mahi, blackfin, tuna. So, should be better times ahead. A little bit of a slow day today, but we're pumped for spring fishing coming up soon. Uh, check out how we did here on the uh... P2P offshore fishing maturity model. We came off the dock with a good plan. Uh, we had to modify that plan based on what happened in the morning, and we tried to pick up something to catch dinner on the way out. If we had all day to fish, we would have trolled the morning for Wahoo, then we would have tried to get in on the uh, on the winter sailfish bite and pick up some sails. But for our short morning troll, at least we went home with dinner and had a great day. I'm going to give it a intermediate for us. All right, so we'll be back next week with some, uh, with some April fishing. While you're waiting for that video, check out these videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Ooh.